I am Weston, I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 19 of the regular season where the Astros win 3-2 huh, over the Texas Rangers in a nail-biting pitcher's duel. Deep in the heart of Texas this afternoon, we were absolutely dazzled by incredible pitching by Justin Verlander and Martin Perez in a spectacular pitcher's duel to wrap up the first series of the Silver Boot series this season. I gotta give both starting pitchers their flowers for this one. Justin Verlander, seven one-run innings with no walks and eight strikeouts, and Martin Perez, seven one-run innings with no walks and four strikeouts. Verlander was striking out players at will, it seemed like at some point, and Perez was getting nothing but weak, just nothing contact. And no matter how they did it, neither of them were allowing anyone to barrel it up against him. What's even more interesting to me is the efficiency of which the pitchers did it with. Justin Verlander going seven innings, only having to throw 91 pitches. Martin Perez going seven, only throwing 76. Like, they were, both pitchers today were absolutely incredible. That said, nerdy as I am, after a while, you can appreciate good pitching a lot, and you can even enjoy it. But once you get into the sixth inning, and your team's being perfect gamed, uh, you start to get a little uh, tired of it. See, I thought the exciting part of the afternoon was going to be something happening in the game, and it, it would happen, and I would get excited. However, uh, the main thing of interest didn't come from the game. Watching the game for the video, and this guy shows up under my desk. Do you see what he's doing right now? He's trying to imitate a rattlesnake. However, I will say this, my good sir. Thank you for giving me a video title. And because of that, I will name you Justin. Live in the country, they said. It's nice, they said. You don't have to deal living close to neighbors, they said. Yeah, they didn't tell me about this. I'm out here enjoying a nice afternoon game of baseball. I looked down because I heard something next to my chair thinking it was like a piece of paper towel that blew next to it because the fans are on high because it's a thousand degrees in Florida. And no, I looked down to be greeted by... How's it going? That said, we did win the game, so I will keep that snake in my back pocket uh, just in case we need something come October. Because after Justin the Snake made his debut in my office, uh, the Astros got on the board. Chaz McCormick would double to finally break up the perfect game, and then Jordan Alvarez would send him home with a base hit to make it 1-0 Astros. And in the bottom half of the seventh, Verlander had his only hiccup of the game, allowing back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back base hits to the Texas Rangers. And then Adolis Garcia, because it's always Adolis Garcia against us, would sack fly to bring one home to tie the game at one. However, in the eighth inning, the Astros would take the lead that they would not relinquish because Jeremy Pena gets on base, cool, and in comes the pinch hitter, Kyle Tucker. And if no one else got me, I know Kyle Tucker got me. <laughs> Kyle, bro. <laughs> nice hit. It's Red Bull, by the way. I don't know if I made that clear last night. And Kyle Tucker homers right down the right field line, almost off the right field foul pole. The right field foul pole. I am so not over 2019, it isn't even funny. It got a little sketchy in the ninth inning. Corey Seager would homer off of Rafael Montero. I believe that was the first run he has given up this season. And then, Adolis Garcia would be at the plate representing the winning run. And I kind of wet myself, if I'm being honest. But a ground out to Aledmus Diaz and the Astros win. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, obviously for both teams, the pitching is the story. Justin Verlander for the Astros was amazing. He has been amazing all season long. I, Justin Verlander came back from an injury that derailed him for two full seasons, pretty much. And he is as good, if not better, than when he left. It is just silly. Coming back from Tommy Johns at an older age and missing two full seasons... Verlander, through four starts this year, has 26 innings pitched, 28 strikeouts, only four walks, and an ERA at 1.73. I'm at a loss for words for how good he is. Blake Taylor would come in, he would have a nice clean inning, Rafael Montero would give up a home run and a walk and make you seem a little bit sketched out, but hey, it's okay, he got out of it with the save, we still won the game. And hey, if he's going to have a hiccup, I'd rather it be giving up a hiccup of a home run in a game where we had a two-run lead and not a one-run lead. So, I'll take it. And hey, I'm so happy about how Verlander did, I'm going to completely ignore the offensive woes and the fact that you couldn't do anything for six innings. Because at least Kyle Tucker got me. 
So the Astros have a nice victory in the first three-game winning streak of the season for the Houston Astros, and you look to make it four tomorrow night at 7.07 Eastern, 6.07 Central. We are in Toronto to square off against the Blue Jays. We send Jose Urquidy to the mound, the Blue Jays send UC Kikuchi to the mound, and hopefully you can make it four in a row for the first time this season. Let's keep building on a win streak. Anyway, that is all I have to say for the video. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, Ghost Rose.